Okay, this video is going to be on line specifications for surf fishing. Let's start with the line you're going to be putting on your reel. Uh, my dad told me about a line years ago, and uh, I found it to be very good for, uh, for not only uh, color, it's a copolymer called Suffix Tritanium Plus. It's uh, it's a blend of mono and fluoro, so you're getting the best of both worlds. And this particular line, if you go to the Rapala site, suffix is owned by Rapala, you can see you're going to pay $54.49 for a one-pound spool. Uh, I always recommend getting one-pound spools for whatever you're using your line for, whether it's for your reel or your shock leaders or making your pompano rigs. With a one pound spool, it's more economical and you're gonna get less kink because it's a bigger spool. So um, as you can see here, uh, a 20 pound test is 54.49. And there's some better deals out there. I'll show you one. And here's one that is a seller called Chaos Fishing. Now these guys are the real deal. You can even go to their website, Chaos Fishing. But uh, you can see this is a lot cheaper, $27.72 for 20 pound. Now the color is up to you. I, I like to use the yellow color because it's a little easier for me on, in certain light conditions to see the line in the air. But uh, that's, that's totally up to you. And, you know, the next line we want to talk about is your shock leader. Uh, some people don't realize that you need a shock leader when you're surf casting because when you go to heave that heavy sinker out to the ocean, that puts a lot of stress on your line. And if you don't have a shock leader, there's a good chance you're going to break your line, especially if there's a small nick in your line. So now in the past and in my previous line spec video, I was uh, talking about this Yozuri hybrid. And, you know, this particular one here on Amazon is a 600 yard and it's, uh, it's 40 pound. Now, depending on the weights that you throw, some people would say, hey, you know, you're better off using a 50 pound. And I agree because if you are throwing five ounce weights or more, sometimes a six ounce, a 40 pound might be a little bit light. But the problem is, is this Yozuri, you know, used to be available in a 600-yard spool in the 50-pound. But the only way you're going to get this stuff in a 50-pound is if you buy a 3-pound spool. Well, that gets pretty pricey. So we're going to change our recommendations from Yozuri to the line that we recommended for our reels. And that's going to be the suffix Tritanium Plus again. You can easily get this in a 50 pound and uh, you say, well, geez, you know, that's, that's a lot of line for my shock leaders. Well, you're going to use it up and the benefit of getting the 50 pound in the suffix tritanium in the clear is you're also going to be use it, uh, be able to use it for your pompano rigs. So, you know, it, it may seem a little pricey at first, but, uh, you know, just make sure that you store your line properly and it's going to last you a long time. Most recommendations for line are um, to get rid of it after two or three years. Well, I disagree. If you're, if you're saving, uh, storing your line in a cool, dark place, uh, you know, it's going to last you a long time. So uh, at, at least four years and by that time it'll be gone if you're surf fishing every year. So so here's our recommendation for the shock leader that's uh, going to also be able to be used for your, uh, your Pompano rigs. Now I've got uh, videos on uh, making your own Pompano rigs and you can find those on my channel. I've also got one for making a, uh, making a line spooler. And uh, while we're at it, let's talk about line spoolers. There's a, uh, there's a lot of this going around. You know, this particular line spooler is guaranteed to spool your reels and not have any twist. And, you know, I, I, I don't doubt that. Uh, the reason is, is because this device here actually spins around while you're spooling your reel. But the, the downside to this rig, uh, not only is it 
$39, but it's not going to hold a one pound spool. So, you know, and if we're working with one pound spools, this just isn't, isn't going to get it done. Uh, I've got a video on my Pompano Brownie channel on making your own line spooler and it comes with all the directions and a, a layout of uh, all the pieces and parts you're going to need. And, you know, the first thing you're going to say, well, geez, you know, does your line spooler, you know, put a kink on our fishing line? Uh, well, yeah, it might put a little bit of kink compared to that other one that we showed you before. But, you know, the truth of the matter is, is after two or three casts, your line is going to unkink itself because you've got a barrel swivel and you're dragging it through the ocean. It's going to naturally untwist itself. So don't get all hung up on this new line spooler technology. It's going to take care of itself. Um, the other thing I probably should have mentioned before, too, uh, going back to the original uh, line spec for, uh, for your reels, if you're not using a spinner, you're not going to want to use the 20-pound. And uh, my, um, my nephew, Chris, now he uses conventional reels, and he also swears by the suffix titanium, but he goes down to a little bit lighter. He'll go to a 14-pound, but you can see the deal's still pretty good there. So, uh, you know, just wanted to touch on that. You will need a little bit lighter line for your conventional reels. Um, the, um, the other thing that I wanted to uh, talk about is uh, shock leader formulas. You know, well, how much shock leader do I need? Well, if your shock leader isn't going all the way to your reel and going around it at least a few times, it's going to be worthless. Because when you go to cast that five-ounce sinker, you know, you're going to you're gonna need uh, a good amount of shock leader. A, a two- or three-foot shock leader just won't do you any good at all. So here's a rough formula I use. You know, go your rod length times three. So if you're if you're, um, you know, for easy math here, go with a 10-foot rod, you go to 30-foot shock leader. Now, some people might say that's overkill, but I disagree. And here's the reason. Let's say you're into a big school of Pompano, and um, as you uh, take your, your hook off the Pompano, you notice that you, you got a little bit of a nick in your, your shock leader, maybe a, a foot or two above your, your Pompano rig. And... You know, if you don't take care of it, you're, you're going to lose that next big pompano. So you can just cut off two or three feet and then retie your pompano rig. And you can do that a few times with a larger shock leader. Now, if you didn't do that and you had, let's say, only a 20-foot shock leader on a 10-foot rod, well, now you're not going to have enough on your reel to really do the job, and you're going to have to get rid of all of your shock leader and tying a new blood knot, and that's going to take time, and that's going to cost you pompano. So that's my theory on the shock leader length, and I think that's going to do it. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you do, please subscribe to my channel, and um, you can see a lot of other uh, videos for making your own gear at the Pompano Brownie channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time.